Hello everybody, welcome back to Mark's Beer Reviews. Today we've got a very cheap lager for you. Um, the lager I purchased whilst getting these beautiful, beautiful lights from B&M Bargains in one of my local towns called Beckles in Suffolk. Um, B&M's got re a quite a random selection of beer really. They've got loads of imported stuff, <clears throat> like I bought a can of Efez that was imported from Turkey in a foil top can and <laughs> you know quite impressive actually um they had guinness foreign extra stout in there they had the huge can of fax danish lager that you saw in a video a couple of videos ago um yeah the beer selection's quite puzzling and um, they've got corrupt like not bad it's pretty actually it's pretty good <laughs> um but one that caught my eye because it because it was cheap it was about a quid i think and the can is quite bright um, is this it's a can of craft lager from what looks like a brewery called craft nation um, I don't really know um, to be honest I hadn't heard of craft nation um, so I just been on the Googles and the interwebs to find out a bit more about this um, strange company and turns out um, craft nation looks like a subdivision of um, a big company called United Dutch Breweries. Um, God knows what it is. Um, I know they've bought you delightful beers such as Orangeboom. <laughs> um, I think Orangeboom, I mean, if you're watching this down the southeast, I used to live in Kent. Um, Orangeboom was quite popular around that neck of the woods because, correct me if I'm wrong, I believed it was brewed under licence by Shepherd Neem, um, which is why it was, which is why Ranji Boom, and same with like Herleman as well, um, which is like their kind of like version of Stella, about low 5% um, <laughs> lager. I won't go any further than that. Um, but um, yeah, so I I had the delights of growing up on a Ranji Boom <laughs> um, in my local pubs, and um, it was not very nice. I've had an orange boom since. I had a can of orange boom about two months ago. Not much more before Christmas. And um, yeah, wasn't a good walk down memory lane. Anyway, not going to let this change my judgment. Um, United Dutch Breweries have got a lot of beer. I think there's a beer called like United Dutch Beer. Um, Go, go and Google them because I needed to. Um, but yeah, this is their one of their latest offerings by Craft Nation. It must be like their craft division, if you will. Um, it's, um, I have to say the can art's pretty, can art's pretty good. Can art is not cheap. I think they've done it right. It is, it is printed. It's not, um, it's a cheapy print, um, uh, not a can wrap. Um, it's, um, weird <laughs> it's got like the tasting notes on top that you know and i don't know it's all a bit weird um god knows um should we just get it into a cat get it into a glass um i've chosen my most dutch glass that just happens to be one of the glasses that i got from the heineken experience when me and my now wife um went to amsterdam um it was one of our it was our first um european trip or first trip abroad together um it was a funny old trip because it's I started it really hungover because I went to the NFL or to went to watch the NFL up in London um, with some friends. I should say actually I didn't go to see one of the proper games. I went up to the um, Indigo Two um, at the O2 in Greenwich, um, and they, it was pretty cool. It's like an American sports bar. It was mega. Anyway, I'll stop waffling. Let's go. I'm gonna do a rigorous um, continental pour. There we go. Now that, I'll tell you what, <laughs> that's what I wanted to achieve. That's pretty impressive. Um, it's very, very light. <laughs> Probably one of the lightest lagers I've ever seen. It's nicely carbonated. Is there a widget in here? There isn't a widget in here. That is all the beer. It is nicely carbonated, but it's very, very light. It's got a two finger white head. It's lighter than straw coloured, I would say. Um, not that that's got any bearing, it, um, but yeah. First impressions, 
it looks a bit weak and limp wristed. Um, it's got a nice fluffy head, I will say that, and the head's sitting there quite well. Um, let's just go in, shall we? It's going for a, it's going for the aroma. If I'm going to get anything, let's get something going in there. <sighs> Smells a little bit spicy, if I had to say. But it smells gas, just a gassy, there's a little bit of spiciness in there. I am a bit of malt, uh, after all, no, I was going to say I'm getting nothing, it's a bit, it's, I'm getting a bit of malt. If it's that light, I'm guessing it's probably pills and malt, but um, we'll have a look at the can in a minute. I don't look at the cans, by the way, um, it could be a different malt. Um, Maybe a bit of slight, almost like orange blossom, like a sweet orange. But yeah, I'm working really hard here. I can't get anything. Malty, orangey, um, gassy. <laughs> here we go. Cheers, everybody. Let's go in for the kill. No. Um, it's got a really, really artificial orange blossom taste that fades quickly into this weird spiciness. Um, there's a strange bitterness in there too. Now I can swirl it around a bit more and try to get more out of it. Mm, same. Oh, no, 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 no. It's got this weird, sweet, synthetic, it's almost like, I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what it's almost like. The sweet sensation at the end, or the sweet taste at the end, it's almost like a saccharin, like an orangey saccharin. It was reminding me of an orange vitamin thing my mum used to make me take when I was a kid. Synthetic, artificial, um, God, this is a mess. Um, sorry, United Dutch Breweries, Craft Nation, whatever the hell this is. Um, this is an absolute mess. On the nose, you can now I've tasted it on the nose that orange blossom that I was getting that was quite pleasant at first because I know what's on the other side. It's it's not it's not nice. Oh, no, here comes the horrible. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that aftertaste, what is that? It's a little bit carbonated. You don't get any, you don't get any of the malt character in the taste. It, it's very, very watery, very, very loose. And then all of a sudden it comes in with this weird, sweet intense orange blossom that's followed very closely by this bitterness it's it's not very oh no 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 this is not for me no orange blossom bitter oh no it's almost metallic as well i know that's been the word of the review especially with the alka what 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 with the um Alcohol free beers. Oh no. No, this is just terrible. Probably one probably one of the worst beers I've had on the well, probably is the worst one of the worst beers I've had on the channel. I'll tell you what, if you saw that alcohol free video a little a uh, couple of videos ago, I'd much rather drink any uh, maybe not the and any state was right. I don't know. This is not very good. It's four point eight percent. It's not very good. Let's read. Let's read the can because I'm sure they're going to fill me with rubbish now. Um, double hopped German Pilsner with floral and spicy notes. Seize this opportunity to try something new. Um, to celebrate diversity, we first need to accept that it's here. I will agree with that. So share a beer with someone out of your comfort zone and strike up a conversation. 
if I shared a beer with this, if I, if I shared a beer with this, if I shared this beer with any of my mates, it'd strike up a con conversation and it would be, where is the nearest bin? And why the F did you buy it? Um, we find you might have more in, more in common than, you, than you'd think. Yeah. I mean, common, common ground would be this beer's bloody terrible. Uh, we shape our own future, we craft our own nation. If you're crafting a na if you're crafting a nation, <laughs> um, I don't want to be a part of it. Um, poor, really, really bad. It was a quid. I wasn't expecting anything. Um, it's just really, really rubbish. It is, uh, it is rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Um, uh, Aldi and Lidl beers are better than this. Um, I don't know. It's not even worth a quid. That is that. That shouldn't just be, that just shouldn't be on the shelf. I don't like the. I don't know what they're trying to achieve with it. Calling it craft. This is not craft. This is absolute rubbish. Um, my and it goes back. I know. A, I know a few people have been talking about it now. I mean, say you're a Foster's drinker, right? I'm not going to pick out the demographic dem, demographic of the typical demographic of people that. Shop and shop and discount supermarkets, but if you're a lower, if you're a low to mid cut mid income, and I'm going to generalise here, so please bear with me. If you're a low to middle income person that drinks Foster's, Carlsberg, Stella, not so much Stella because Stella can be alright actually, but Carling certainly, and you think you know what, I want to try craft because it's only a quid and it's got craft stamped all over it. A golden opportunity, craft lager from Craft Nation, craft everything. And you try that, you're going to go craft beer's rubbish and go back to my Fosters. And then all the craft breweries that all the local craft breweries to you and me, regular couples, pub partnerships, small groups that own these breweries are never going to get a look at them. Oh. It's repeating on me. Never going to get a look in. That is absolutely rubbish. The craft should not be on that can. That is not crafted. That is absolute dross. Um, United Dutch Breweries, you should be ashamed of yourselves. That is terrible. Um, and to label it craft is purely a sales technique to pull the wool over people's eyes. Um, that is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Got hair in my mouth. Crap. Um... Rating, oh, I don't even know. I'm not even gonna consider price because that's not worth a quid. That's not worth ten pence. That is absolute rubbish. Um, it's a 0.5 out of five. That is an absolute insult. Um, to put that on yourself, to put that on your shelf and expect people to enjoy that, that is an absolute insult. Um, that is terrible. Yeah, avoid it. I wouldn't even. A lot of the beers I say. Go and try it. I just, I'm, just don't, just don't bother. Avoid it. See that. Walk the other direction. Um, B and M. Um, your beer buying guys have not tasted that because if they did, they wouldn't be on the shelf. Um, rubbish. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know. Get in the comments. Let me know if you've had it. Am I? I don't think I'm being over dramatic. I really don't. I think this is an absolute pull in the wall over eyes exercise um for your united nation united craft breweries um the word united sounds attractive the word craft sounds attractive the beer is anything but attractive it is blooming awful um let me know if you've had it i don't think i'm overreacting um i think there's a couple of aspects that need addressing with this sort of stuff um um yeah not even worth not like i say i, I wish i had the quid back in my pocket um, it's been good for the review because I'm sure this has been um, yeah, a worthwhile exercise for a lot of you. Um, just be aware of what you're buying. Um, I wanted to buy it because I wanted to review it and I'm glad I did because um, it sends a message out to everybody. Um, anyway, let's wrap up the video. It's, not, it's, it's 0.5 out of 5. It's not, it's not disgusting. Well, it is disgusting. The whole thing's disgusting, but it doesn't taste like sewage, so it's not a naught out of five. Um, it's just not anywhere near. Um, really, really frustrating that the craft is being stamped all over these these sorts of cans for people to see. 
for when a lot of craft breweries are busting their balls to put good stuff on the shelves at good prices. Um, yeah, um, like I say, let me know if you've had the beer. Um, and also, please give this video a like. Um, I really appreciate it. It does help. Um, and getting, like, like I say, get get onto that subscribe button as well. We're fast approaching 200, um, which is mental. Um, and I can only thank you for it. I think the best thing out of this review, really, is I got the opportunity, because obviously it's uh, Royal Dutch Brew, which is orange, the can's orange. I've got an opportunity to put the orange lights on for you. I think that's about as good as it gets, guys, the orange lights. <laughs> right. Take care, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And yeah, see you soon. Cheers.